Good day, my schoolers. You are welcome to my school channel, and my name is Abiola. Don't forget, in this channel, we are solving the Jam CBT past question for the subject Chemistry, the year 2015. Stay with us, don't go anywhere, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel and in this segment we are solving questions 41 to 64. Join me as we solve question 41. Detergents are manufactured with straight hydrocarbon chain. It is to make them what? Okay, it is to make them biodegradable. Okay, so nowadays what uh, is being manufactured when concerning detergents are those that are de biodegradable. Okay, and that is due to the presence of um, straight hydrocarbon chains. When you talk about their solubility, their solubility in water is due to their hydrophilic head, okay? And um, their solubility in solvent or oil is due to their hydrocarbon tail. So those things account for their solubility. So the correct option here is option B. This accounts for their biodegradability or being biodegradable. So the correct option is option B. Question 42. Which of the following results in the fall of acid rain, okay? Um, that is due to the oxides of um, sulfur. You know, due to the this due to a substantial amount of sulfur oxide in the atmosphere, this can lead to what we have here, the fall of acid rain. So the correct option here is option C, oxides of sulfur. 43. The falling of kettles is caused by the presence of what compound in water? Okay, when you talk about water in chemistry, we have soft water and hard water. And the types of hard water, it can be temporary or permanent. So, um, looking at the effect of temporary hardness, temporary hardness of water, um, the falling of kettles is caused by the gradual deposition of calcium triazocarbonate 4, okay, by or due to the decomposition of calcium hydrogen triazocarbonate 4, all right? So, this is what causes the foreign of kettles because this decomposes. So the correct option here is option D. 44. A difference between chemical and physical change is that in a chemical change, okay, a new substance is formed. In a chemical change, it is not reversible. Okay, so but for a physical change, it's reversible and no new substance is formed. So the difference here, according to the context of options provided us, is that a new substance is formed in a chemical change. So the correct option here is option D. Number 45. According to the kinetic theory, an absence in temperature causes the kinetic energy of particles to do what? Okay, so I would like to insinuate or imply that what we mean by absence in temperature here is actually referring to absolute zero, okay? So, for temperature. So, if at that case, that means that the kinetic energy too will tend towards zero, okay? So, at that temperature scale, that is minus 273 degrees Celsius, okay? That tells you that the temperature, the absolute temperature, the absolute uh, the temperature at that absolute zero tells you that the kinetic energy too will be zero. So the viable option for this kind of scenario that I've just painted for absolute zero in terms of temperature, that will mean that option D is the most viable option. So we can say option D is the correct option. Kindly click on the link in the description below. It's going to take you to the My School website where you can get the My School mobile app or the My School software. Okay, all you just need to do is to activate the app with a token of 1000 error. All right, so join me as you solve question 46. We have on BCL5. Okay, the 5 is a subscript telling us we have 5 atoms of chlorine to give us. This is telling us that the rea this is the reactant side, this is the product side. So, the question now states that in the reaction above, okay, a decrease in pressure will do what? It's going to favor this product side or the forward reaction. That is the yield of this. So, the correct option here is option B. In the reaction above, a decrease in pressure will increase the yield of PCL3. So, option B is very correct. 
don't forget to hit the like button also remember to click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get alerts as soon as we upload the next video question 47 which of the following gives a precipitation when treated with sodium hydroxide solution okay that is aluminium chloride when you treat it with this sodium hydroxide solution you should get aluminium hydroxide that is a white precipitate which we are talking about here but when you have excess of this you should get um, sodium metal aluminate okay so the correct option here is option a is aluminium chloride so aluminium chloride is correct option which of the following gives a precipitation when treated with sodium hydroxide solution that is option a for aluminium chloride 48 Electronic configuration of an element, atomic number 13, in the subsidiary energy level is what? When you talk about these uh, sub levels or sub energy level, you are talking about SPDF. Okay, they have their shape and based on the um, energy of the electrons that is found. All right, so basically we are talking about SPDF. Okay, so the electronic configuration of the element with atomic number 13, that element is aluminium. Okay, and that gives you 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p1. So the correct option here is option A, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. So option A is very correct. Question 49. Alloys are best prepared by what? They are best prepared by electroplating. Okay, you are coating one uh, metal by another or in this case you know sometimes carbon is being introduced for certain reasons so um the best preparation that we have at least the context of question uh, options provided us is electroplating alloys are best prepared by electroplating remember alloys talks about mixtures of different elements together usually metals and some others like that so the correct option here is option a for electroplating question 50 in countries where the temperature for below 273 kelvin salt always spilled on the road in order to do what okay the reason why this um, why salt is being spilled is to melt the high so salt can do this by by reducing the freezing point you know the freezing point of water or for highs in this context whatever thing you want to use is zero degree Celsius or 32 degree Fahrenheit so whatever thing you want to use. so what it does is it reduces the freezing point that is it prevents the um, from the water from refreezing again so it's melted it, then it prevents it from freezing again so the the basic mechanism behind this is that it reduces the freezing point of the high so the correct option here is option D number 51 the substance that is used in the steel industry for the removal of carbon sulfur and phosphorus impurities from pig iron is what okay this whole thing this remover um, involves oxidation oxidation so oxidation i'm talking about oxygen so the correct option here is option a for oxygen question 52 if glucose is heated with concentrated tetraoxide of a six acid, it will be dehydrated to what? Okay, so what it should be dehydrated to is carbon, carbon residue. You know, this is just um, one of the ways to get um, sugar charcoal. It is the purest form of amorphous carbon. You can do this by burning, okay, or treating it with. Um, um, or eating it with conk H2SO4 whatever thing you do you are going to get carbon and that carbon we are talking about is sugar charcoal so the correct option here is option A for carbon 53 which of the following compounds can be represented by the molecular formula C2H60 or O rather C2H60O um, this is telling you this is an ethanol okay it, has, it can be written like this or it can be written as C2H5OH. Even the structure can carry a different um, formula. The structural formula can carry a different uh, presentation. Okay, you can have um, something like um, CH3, CH2, and um, OH. Okay, so whatever thing we just have, this is a uh, molecular formula for ethanol belonging to the alkanol family. So the correct option here is option B for ethanol. Number 54. 
What is the pH of 0.001 mole per dm cube solution of sodium hydroxide? So this is very easy to tackle. You know, we can use all of those um, um, log equals um, POH or pH equals POH here now equals minus log. Then we have um, OH minus. So you don't need to do all of that. Just follow me as we use this up. Uh, easy steps. Um, this is one, two, three. This tells you that um, 10 raised to the power minus three. Okay. So you can see one, one, two, three. 10 raised to the power minus three. You know, when you impute it into the formula, you are going to. So you are talking about the pH, uh, the pOH of the sodium hydroxide here is three. 10 raised to the power minus three. By the time you do the calculations, you will get three. So remember that pH plus pOH equals 14. So we are finding the pH. Already we have a pOH as three. So pH plus three equals 14. So when you send the three outside, that will be 14 minus three that gives you 11 so the ph of this is 11 so the correct option here is option d number 55 we have um this okay then we have this in the endothermic reaction above more products formed will be favored by what okay so this is an endothermic reaction so this should be a reversible reaction okay so um being an endothermic reaction what we favor the forward reaction or product formation is a decrease in pressure okay increasing pressure we favor this side so what we favor this forward reaction or product formation once again is that decrease in pressure so the correct option here is option c a decrease in pressure don't forget that you can have access to our solution providers on the MySchool website. All you just need to do, click on the link provided in the description below. It's going to move you to this great site and right there and right now you can ask your questions and our army of solution providers are waiting to help you out. So join me as we solve question 56. Chlorine gas turns damp starch iodide paper to what? It turns it to dark blue. This is because it's the chlorine, the chlorine here displaces the iodine okay from the iodide potassium iodide so it is now the iodine in turn that turns this damp starch paper to dark blue so the correct option here is option d for dark blue going through our video clips you may have one or two contributions or explanation you'd like to recommend please would like to know all you just need to do use the comment section below indicate that question number and the solutions you'd like to share question 57 Chlorine consisting of two isotopes of mass number 35 and 37 in the ratio 3 ratio 1 has an atomic mass of 35.5. Okay, calculate the relative abundance of the isotope of mass number 37. This is very easy to do. So we are we can see that um, they are in 3 ratio 1, that is 3, this is 1. Okay, so 3 ratio 1 is telling you that um 75 to 25 percent 75 to 25 percent gives you 100 percent so this tells us that the chlorine with atomic number 35 is about 75 percent and the other this 37 okay is 25 percent so the correct option here is option b okay calculate the relative abundance of the isotope of the mass number 37 the abundance is 20 so the correct sorry is 25 so the correct option here is option b for 25. 58 the principal constituent of natural gas is what okay that is methane talking about water gas we're talking about carbon two oxide and hydrogen why natural gas the principal constituent according to the question is methane um, but natural gas talking about the botch process water gas talking about the botch process and natural gas they can be used for the industrial preparation of hydrogen so the correct option here is option a for methane question 59 in the electrolysis of um, copper tetrasulfate 6 using platinum electrode, the reaction at the anode is what? Okay, for, so for the anode, what you are going to have will be 4 moles of this, all right, to 4 moles of electron, then 2 moles of water. What actually happens here is that um, uh, SO4 2 minus a ion and OH minus a ion, they migrate to the anode, okay? So due to their positions in the series, okay, um, uh, the OH minus is preferentially discharged. That's why you get oxygen gas. Okay, then for the cathode, you will have the Cu, that is the copper ions and the hydrogen ions, they move to the cathode. So at the cathode, what is preferentially discharged is copper ion.
copper okay so um, we have copper discharge and at the other end we have oxygen preferentially discharged so the correct option here is option b this is a close representation of the um, half reaction at the anode so option b is very correct question 60 as block elements of the periodic table are made up of what? Okay, they are made up of the group one and the group two. Remember, the S block can contain two electrons. So we are talking about the maximum of two electrons in the atomic shell of whatever atom we are talking about. So I know that um, the number of electrons in the atomic shell determines the group. So since the highest number of electrons we can have in the S block are just two, so it covers group one and group two. So the correct option here is option B, groups one and two. Option B is very correct number 61 the oxidation state of sulfur in h2so4 acid is what okay so um this is um the old name sulfuric acid but now it is properly the IUPAC name now is tetra also sulfate 6 sulfate 6 this tells us that the oxidation state of sulfur in this is plus 6 so the correct option here is option b for plus 6. 62 in the electrolysis of brine, the anode is what? Okay, the anode is a series of um, graphite that is carbon rods. Okay, and um, this electro the electrolysis of brine, what it yields, you are going to have hydrogen and chlorine at the electrodes and also a cons a conch solution of sodium hydroxide. So the correct answer here is op uh, option D for carbon, specifically the graphite rod. So option D is the correct option. Question 63. Calculate the relative molecular mass of limestone CaCO3. Okay, uh, giving calcium as 40, carbon as 12, oxygen as 16. This is very easy. Just have to add up all of these um, values. So, calcium we have 40, okay, plus 12. That gives us 52. We can see we have three carbon, three uh, oxygen atoms here. So that will be three times 16. Three times 16, that is 48. 48 plus 52, that gives us 100. So the relative molecular mass of limestone is 100. Option B. 64. When steam is passed over red hot carbon, the substances produced are what? Okay, this is actually referring to the botch process and this passage is at about um, 1200 degrees celsius okay what you have is water gas and water gas talks about the combination of hydrogen and carbon two oxide or carbon yeah carbon two oxide and hydrogen so the correct option here is option c water gas okay the substance produced is hydrogen and carbon two oxide so option c is very correct right there we've come to the end of this video segment but there are more video clips to come all you just need to do for yourself is to hit the like button don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and also tap on bell notification so you can get informed as soon as we upload the next videos